Not always, but depending on the situation, like there's a bit of an audio drift, right? So when I'm doing like the rough cut, I still leave like the camera audio to like the very end. So I don't delete it until, until like the very end of my editing process, right? Because if we zoom in here and if we just listen. For once I downloaded the updated BIOS, dropped it onto a USB flash drive, renamed it Giga. Now that sounds good, right? And because I already synced it, however, if we move towards the end, all right, uh, so this is cute. Start spent a bit more time testing, and I uh, did manage to get the done some more testing now. Uh, thankfully, after the GPU is installed, I was able to test. At All right, if you hear, there's a bit of a chorus going on because they're like the audio is a bit out of sync, right? Now, Pluralize does a good job to sync up the footage, but there's still usually like a little bit of a drift, right? So we zoom in here, and if we look up our footage here, you can see here where he claps. All right. You can see here in the spikes area. If you uh, click here on the little uh, hamburger symbol, whatever you call that shit, and you go to show audio time units, you are able to select the hotkey for this. In my case, I put it on four. So if I select that, now you're able to zoom in more. And if I have like the Windows tools open, I select the, um, the slip tool. While we're zoomed in here, having the audio units being displayed, you are able to click a slide over a little bit. That way you guys can be more precise when you're syncing your audio, right? But I just look for areas where there's like, kind of like a, a high spike like right here. You can zoom in here a bit more. And you can kind of see that it's just a little bit off. Just click and drag and boom. Now it's more in sync, right? Now if we click on our uh, little hamburger symbol, whatever the hell that thing's called, go down here to show you audio units, uncheck that. It goes back to your regular like time count. Now if we listen to it, more time testing and uh, I did manage to get the GPU installed. That was a bit, thankfully, after the GPU is installed. All right, uh, so this is cute. Start spent a bit more time testing and uh, I did manage to get the GPU. Some more testing now, uh, thankfully, after the GPU is installed, I was able to test. At more time testing and uh, I did manage to get the GPU installed. That was a bit, thankfully, after the GPU is installed. When I'm editing pause video, especially when I'm doing the rough cuts, I always like uh, delete the, the audio from the camera on last. That way, if I ever see like there's like, a bit of like a slight audio drift, I'm able to like correct it the way how I just showed you, right? Okay, so as you can see, audio drift happens, right? But you knowing how to do this to manually adjust like the audio a little bit, uh, Premiere Pro, that can save you a lot of time. Um, I've been getting like more questions uh, from people that use DaVinci Resolve. Um, I apologize, I'm not familiar with DaVinci Resolve that much, right? But uh, from my understanding, you are able to use Pearl Eyes uh, with DaVinci, right? So yeah, actually uh, from the looks of it, in like in the middle of 2020, they uh, added support for DaVinci Resolve, so that's cool. The cool thing about Pearl Eyes is basically, you know, you're able to sync a lot of footage in one shot and boom, and that's it, right? Uh, whereas in Premiere Pro, it's almost like uh, it works only if you have like individual clips, right? If you have one long clip and one audio track, that works, right? But when you have a bunch of like footage all like scattered everywhere, the uh, Pluralize does a very good job of syncing it all for you, right? So it saves a lot of time. It's not a cheap software, you know, the thing is like $300, uh, but it's worth it, right? So it's definitely, <laughs> it is a time saver, right? Uh, thanks for watching. If you guys enjoyed the video, definitely leave a like. If you have any questions, you know, please leave it in the comment section below. And also if you find the video helpful, you know, there'll be a link in the description. It's also, you know, you can check out my PayPal. You can hook it up with a coffee. So yeah, I definitely appreciate uh, any kind of support like that. But either way, I'm still gonna continue making these videos because, you know, I like doing this stuff. So thanks for watching.